Copper and bronze are two materials that carry not only unique chemical and physical properties, but also the weight of human history. These metals have shaped civilizations, powered technologies, and continue to define our modern world. Let's begin our journey with the pure element itself, copper. On the periodic table, it's represented by the symbol Q and holds the atomic number 29. This places it in a special category of elements known as transition metals, a group celebrated for its strength, versatility, and unique chemical properties. The name copper itself is derived from the Latin Aeus Cyprium, meaning metal from Cyprus, where the Romans mined much of their supply, highlighting its deep historical roots. Unlike most metals, which are silvery gray, copper possesses a distinctive reddish-orange luster when freshly exposed. It's one of only two non-silvery elemental metals, the other being gold. This unique color isn't just for show, it's a direct result of its atomic structure. The specific arrangement of copper's 29 electrons causes it to absorb blue and green light, reflecting the warmer reds and oranges that we see, giving it a visual warmth that matches its physical properties. Copper is renowned for its extremely high electrical and thermal conductivity. But what does that actually mean? At the atomic level, copper's metallic bonds create a sea of delocalized electrons that are not tied to any single atom. These free-flowing electrons act like a superhighway for energy. When an electrical voltage is applied, they move easily, creating a powerful current. Similarly, when one part of the metal is heated, these same electrons rapidly transfer that kinetic energy throughout the material, making it an exceptional conductor of heat. In the grand scheme of elements, its conductivity is surpassed only by one other metal, silver. While silver is about 6% more conductive, its significantly higher price makes it impractical for large-scale applications. This economic reality positions copper as the undisputed king of conductivity for everyday use, offering the perfect balance of performance and affordability. Beyond its conductive talents, copper is remarkably ductile and malleable. Ductility is the ability to be stretched into thin wires, while malleability is the ability to be hammered or pressed into thin sheets. These properties are also thanks to its metallic bonds, which allow layers of copper atoms to slide over one another without breaking the metal's structure. This means it can be shaped into incredibly intricate forms, from wires thinner than a human hair to vast expansive sheets, all without losing its inherent strength. This incredible flexibility is not just a novelty, it's the very reason copper has become invaluable for countless applications, forming the physical backbone of our modern world, Humanity's relationship with copper is ancient, stretching back more than 10,000 years. It is one of the few metals found in its native, directly usable state in nature, appearing as nuggets or embedded in rock. Early humans would have stumbled upon this shiny red metal and discovered that, unlike stone, it could be hammered into shapes, a process called cold working. However, the true revolution began when we learned to extract it from ores. It's most commonly found in minerals such as the iron-rich chalcopyrite, which accounts for about half of the world's copper production, and the beautiful green-banded malachite. The discovery of smelting, using fire to melt copper out of these rocks around 6000 BC, was a pivotal moment in human history. It allowed for casting and the creation of far more complex objects, effectively ending the Stone Age and ushering in a new era of technology. In the beginning this newfound material was used to craft simple weapons that were more durable than stone, ornate jewelry, and household utensils. Ancient Egyptians used it for water pipes and polished it into mirrors. But as our understanding of science grew, so did our applications for copper. With the discovery of electricity, copper's destiny was rewritten. Its unparalleled conductivity made it the indispensable heart of the electrical industry. Today, it is the lifeblood of our power grid forming the cables that transmit electricity, the windings in motors that power our machines, the transformers that manage voltage, and the core infrastructure of renewable energy systems like wind turbines and solar farms. In the construction sector, copper remains a material of choice. It's widely used in plumbing pipes not only for its durability, but for a crucial health benefit. Copper is biostatic. This means that bacteria and viruses cannot survive for long on its surface, helping to keep water supplies safe. For roofing, its longevity is legendary. When exposed to the elements, copper develops a beautiful, stable blue-green layer called a patina. This isn't rust or decay, it's a protective shield that prevents further corrosion, allowing copper roofs to last for centuries. 
This same resistance to corrosion and its excellent heat transfer make it ideal for heating and air conditioning systems. More recently, its antimicrobial properties are being leveraged in healthcare settings for high-touch surfaces like doorknobs and bed rails to help combat the spread of hospital-acquired infections. Today, copper is more than just a material. It's a vital economic indicator. Its value on the international market, typically fluctuating between $9,000 and $10,000 per ton, is so closely tied to industrial activity that economists have nicknamed it Dr. Copper because its price can often diagnose the health of the global economy. High demand signals growth and expansion, while falling prices can hint at a slowdown. This makes it one of the most strategic metals for the global economy. Furthermore, copper is a champion of sustainability. It is 100% recyclable without any loss of its physical or chemical properties. In fact, it's estimated that over two-thirds of all the copper ever mined in human history is still in use today, having been recycled and repurposed time and time again. As we look to a greener future powered by electric vehicles and renewable energy, technologies that are incredibly copper-intensive, the importance of this ancient reddish metal is set to grow even stronger. While pure copper represented humanity's first major step into metallurgy, its inherent softness placed a ceiling on its potential. A new innovation was needed to push civilization forward. That innovation was bronze. Bronze, on the other hand, is not a pure element found in nature but the result of a brilliant human invention, an alloy, primarily of copper mixed with tin. This discovery, likely accidental at first, was a watershed moment. Early metal workers would have noticed that ore from certain mines produced a superior, harder metal. Through experimentation, they realized that intentionally combining different metals could create a material far greater than the sum of its parts. The classic recipe for bronze calls for a proportion of about 88% copper to 12% tin. Scientifically, this combination is transformative. The larger tin atoms disrupt the orderly crystal lattice of the copper, creating internal stresses that prevent the layers of atoms from easily sliding past one another. This atomic level interference is what gives bronze its remarkable hardness and strength. However, this ratio is not set in stone. It can be tweaked for specific purposes. Adding elements like aluminum creates a bronze with exceptional strength and corrosion resistance, perfect for marine hardware like ship propellers. Adding phosphorus results in phosphor bronze, valued for its elasticity in making springs, bearings, and even musical instrument strings. The mastery of this alloy ushered in a new epoch for humanity, which emerged around 3300 BC, marking the beginning of the so-called Bronze Age. This era wasn't just defined by a new material, but by the societal upheaval it caused. Tin was much rarer than copper, so securing a steady supply required the establishment of long-distance trade networks, connecting disparate cultures across continents for the first time. This new alloy was a game-changer. This combination drastically increased hardness and mechanical resistance compared to pure copper. Furthermore, bronze had a lower melting point than copper, making it easier to melt and cast into intricate shapes using stone or clay molds, a technique that would revolutionize manufacturing. This allowed for the production of sharper, longer-lasting weapons. Bronze swords and spearheads could hold a lethal edge and withstand the brutal shock of combat, unlike their easily bent copper predecessors. It also enabled more efficient agricultural tools. Bronze plows could break up hard, uncultivated land, and durable sickles made harvesting quicker, boosting food production and supporting growing populations. And beyond its utility, bronze became a premier medium for expression, leading to works of art that stand the test of time. The lost wax casting method allowed for breathtakingly detailed sculptures, from majestic statues of gods and kings to intricate personal ornaments. One of bronze's most enduring qualities is its graceful aging process. Unlike iron, which rusts away destructively, bronze does not oxidize easily. Instead, it slowly forms a protective greenish layer known as a patina. This coating, composed of copper carbonates and sulfates, effectively seals the underlying metal from the elements, preventing deep corrosion. This is why we can still admire bronze artifacts crafted thousands of years ago. This beautiful and protective quality makes it ideal for sculptures and monuments exposed to the weather, where the evolving patina becomes part of the artwork's character over centuries. Today, it is used in ship propellers, as it resists corrosion caused by salt water, in gears and bearings due to its low friction, in percussion musical instruments for their rich and resonant sound, and in medals and trophies, symbols of recognition and achievement. 
Its market price depends directly on copper's quotation, but it is often sold in specialized segments for specific uses, which can increase its value in crafted pieces. So, what truly sets these two reddish metals apart? The main difference lies in their fundamental chemistry and intended purpose. At its core, copper is a pure, naturally occurring element. This elemental purity is the secret to its most famous properties. Bronze, on the other hand, is not an element but an alloy, a metal cocktail. It's created by melting copper and mixing it primarily with tin, a process that intentionally sacrifices purity to gain strength and durability for entirely different jobs. Let's look at copper. Its pure atomic structure allows electrons to flow with remarkable ease, making it a world-class electrical conductor. This is why it forms the backbone of our electrical world, from massive power grid cables to the microscopic wiring inside our smartphones. Copper is also a phenomenal conductor of heat, prized for high-performance cookware and the critical heat sinks that cool our electronics. Its high ductility and malleability mean it can be stretched into thin wires or hammered into sheets, perfect for plumbing and architectural designs. Now consider bronze. By introducing tin atoms into copper's crystal lattice, we disrupt its uniform structure, making bronze significantly harder and stronger. This enhanced toughness allows it to withstand immense mechanical stress, making it the material of choice for industrial gears, bearings and bushings where low friction is key. Bronze also boasts superior corrosion resistance, especially against salt water, which is why it's essential for ship propellers and marine hardware. This incredible resilience is why bronze artifacts from ancient civilizations can survive for millennia, offering us a direct link to our past. Ultimately, while copper is the hero powering the invisible infrastructure of our modern age, bronze stands as the enduring symbol of legacy. One conducts the fleeting energy that fuels our present, the other is cast into statues, bells and medals that preserve our history and culture for the future. They are not competitors but two sides of the same metallic coin, each perfected for its vital role. Historically we can say that copper opened the door to metallurgy, and bronze proved that human engineering was only just beginning. Even in the age of steel and advanced composites, both remain indispensable, one for its irreplaceable practical function, and the other for its balance of strength, aesthetics, and legacy. Two metals, thousands of years of human progress, and countless innovations yet to come.